Hey guys, it's DaVinci of Design here. So a few days ago, I did an anonymous question and answer on my Twitter page. And I got a lot of questions about Jack buying, how you can enroll at AppTech, what AppTech is, and how you can further your studies abroad. I'll be talking about all of that today in details, the step-by-step -step process on how to go about it. I'll start by talking about what AppTech is. So AppTech is an IT school with its headquarters in Mumbai. So it's founded by an Indian person and it has branches all over africa they have in ghana they have in nigeria so i'll talk about nigeria because my audience is more of nigerian people um in nigeria they have branches in lagos they have branches in uyu they have branches in portacourt abuja abiekuta enugu ibadon they have branches almost in all the states uh that you can find in nigeria and um they have different courses and their courses range from ADSC, CPISM and multiple other courses. And most of these courses are recognized by universities in the UK, such as Middlesex University, University of Plymouth, um, universities in Malaysia like um, University of Lincoln, universities in Dubai, Middlesex University in Dubai, Middlesex University in Mauritius. So I'll be talking in detail about the course that I did and my own personal process on starting uptake and getting into Middlesex University. So I ran an ADSC course for two years at Aptec. ADSC means Advanced Diploma in Software Engineering. And after my two years at Aptec, uh, the certificates and credits that I got from the four semesters I spent there, which was in two years, are transferable to any of the universities that Aptec is affiliated with. Before we go into details to that, let me talk um, briefly about who can get into Aptec. Aptec offers um, a range of courses if you just want to upskill in three or six months or if you want to do like a two-year program in which you can get a BSc from and um, all you need for the BSc path in terms of going to another country to complete that BSc uh, is uh, your YEC and basically having a C6 in English to just proof that you can speak and understand English. So Aptec offers a range of courses which are like transferable, which have transferable credits to pursue a BSc in Middlesex University. And I'll be linking um, the page, the website to see those range of courses on the Middlesex University website. So you could, you know, see which one appeals to you, which one follows the career path you want to choose. You know, go ahead and run that course at Aptec for a year two years depending on how long it is in uptake and then move forward to attain your bsc in Middlesex university uk you could also look through i would also um put the link to the university of plymouth to show the um, diplomas that you can get from uptake that can offer you a transferable credit to study at university of plymouth and um, the same for university of lincoln in malaysia and um, the one from Middlesex University London applies for Middlesex University Dubai and um, Mauritius. Okay, so going back to my own route on how I attended Aptech and moved forward to Middlesex University. Aptech offers ADSC and that was what I did. I did ADSC for two years and um, that's broken down into four semesters. So the first semester is more like generic teaching about web development and um, everything that has to do with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, basic stuff. Then the second semester, you move on to learning things about Java and C Sharp. Um, so when you get to the third semester, you pick between either learning things on Java or learning things on .NET. So .NET for like building applications for Windows Phone, um, Java building applications for Android Phone, and um, basically other stuff. And then um, semester four has, I think, five different modules that you pick from for specialization. So there's data science, um, there's AI and machine learning, there is um, IoT, there is Oracle for database, and then I think there is networking. Yes, so you have to pick between each of um, any one of those five options for what you want to base on and then that last semester will teach you things based off what you've selected and um so all of these are going on to first semester and they are transcripts for those first semesters and those transcripts are what you will you know submit to middlesex university for your admission so once you're done with those um first semesters which is in two years um when i did mine it was about two million naira for two years i think right now depending on the center 
and the course because I told you that Aptech offers a range of courses ADSC, CPISM, um, there's one on multimedia and um, the likes. I would put the link below so you can look through that. And uh, so the cost and the center would determine, sorry, the cost and the center would determine the cost of the course. When I did mine, two million. Right now, because um, I have my brother in Aptech, he was about four million when he when he started. So I think he's still around that range. If you apply probably this year, by next year it could increase. So um, I would also put contact details below for the Aptech center I went to. And um, you can reach out to them and they will let you know the ones you can go to closer to your location and give you legit information on how you can go about it so that you're not scammed of the internet okay now going into details about how um, the middlesex university process works so once you're done with aptech whenever you're ready you can go to aptech this year and go to middlesex in three years four years or immediately you're done depending on how you want to do it so um you would apply with your aptech certificates from india they would give you that once you're done um, your transcripts for the first semesters, your proof of English YX certificate showing that you have at least C6 in English in your YX or GC. Um, then that's basically what you would submit to the Middlesex people to, you know, request for your admission and all of that. And they would give you an admission. It's most, it's, it, they would most likely give you an admission because like your Aptech certificate is like a sure banker to get admission from the schools that they are affiliated with. So once you do that, you get your admission with your um, tuition fee listed and whatnot. Um, you're expected to pay 50% of your tuition fee for that year. It's basically one, it's a one year course once you're done with Aptech. So you choose either between computer science, information technology, information technology and business information systems so those are the courses that are available for you to pick from and um, they have each of their modules under it i would also link the middlesex um, university website um, in the description box below so you can look through the different courses and see what appeals to you so there are a couple steps after you've applied for your admission and there will be an admission official that will put you through um, the process is quite straightforward and um, it moves on like smoothly and quickly once everything is done appropriately um probably the first step will be to apply for your admission the next step will be to pay your tuition um the next step after that will be to apply for your cas um cas is um i think confirmation of acceptance of studies and then um you would need to submit a couple of documents to get your cas your cas is what you would um submit to the embassy to apply for your visa and once they see that all the documents you submitted for your cars and your cars is legit uh, the visa doesn't take up to a month you get your visa and you come over for school so uh, i know i have said it like it's very like short but it takes like time so if you're traveling in let's say next year september you definitely want to start processing this by january and um, before september everything would have been sorted out you resume school you do your course for a year and then you get your bsc and basically it's very it's, it's that fast so in three years if you're a fresh if you're fresh out of secondary school you go to aptech you're like very sure that in three years you're done with um, university and you move on to working getting a job um, having a degree from uk middlesex university is very internationally known will definitely set you apart especially when you are skilled you know what you're doing in the job market so it's a route that i completely completely like advise anybody that i know that is willing to make their life work to go by okay so talking about um expenses in terms of coming to the uk to complete your studies and get your bsc um you would need to have at least 50 percent of the school fees which is all usually about um let's say eight thousand pounds um you would need to also um have an accommodation here maybe family that you could stay with or probably stay in one of the hostels provided by the school um when you apply for that they'll let you know how much it is um you would also 
need to have your proof of funds proof of funds is usually 30 days you have to have those, those funds in that account for at least 30 days without touching it topping it up making the money more but not withdrawing it from it and it shouldn't go below the amount that is stated i think the amount usually stated is around i'm not exactly sure about the figure in naira but i know that in pounds is around fifteen thousand pounds um so just fixed money to show that you can take care of your living expenses um while you're here in the uk and um, you will submit like your bank statement to prove that um obviously your ticket you would need to pay for your ticket depending on how much um, flight tickets are at the time you're traveling it does it doesn't stay like um, stagnant but what our advice is buy your ticket ahead of time probably like um three months to the time you want to travel and you will save a lot of money okay so you would also need to pay for nhs um it's health insurance it's about 950 to let's just say one thousand dollars you would need to pay for your um visa application uh i can't really remember how much it is right now because those um, those things don't stay static depending on when you're applying you would need to find out the prices for those things um that's basically what you spend so you're spending money on your tuition um accommodation that's if you're staying in the hostel your visa application your nhs that's a health insurance your ticket and um having money for proof of funds you're not spending that money it's just going to be proof that you have money to take care of yourself while you're here uh yeah basically that those are all the things that have to do with financings when processing your traveling to the uk so there were a couple questions that i'll just like to like answer directly here that i was asked during the anonymous q a um one of them was um you're done with your university and can you still do aptech and get another bsc yes you can honestly it's open to everybody as long as you are ready to focus during the aptech course and learn pass your exams because they're definitely exams like a proper school university type setting and um, move on to further for one year in any of the universities of your choice and um another one was um you just came out of secondary school and you already applied um for a course in a university but you don't think that's that's what you want to do is it still possible for you to go to aptech all you are going to have to do is drop out from that university and go to aptech there are people i know that have actually like they were in universities and they were doing aptech at the same time now if you have that grace you can do that but at the end of the day if the university takes too long to finish you probably have to still leave and travel when you're ready or store your traveling um, finish that university go ahead do another bsc however where you want to you know do that so it is open to literally anybody and everybody that wants to upskill and you know um, find greener pastures basically so i think someone also asked if you can do instrumental payments um my school fees was paid instrumentally so yes of course you can do instrumental payments then um, they will tell you how much you're meant to pay monthly throughout those two years so you don't necessarily have to pay all the four million at once when you want to start so there will be a plan on how much you would pay monthly and you have to stick to that plan to be able to attend lectures write your exams and you know finally finish up Aptech. so someone asked about the certifications that you would need so to apply to aptech the only certification that you need is like your yec or and your gsc to just show that you have um, c6 in english because that would be necessary for you to complete your bsc through the aptech um, route and then to apply to middlesex you will need your yec or gce at least a c6 in english um, you would need your um, aptech certificate and your aptech transcript for the four semesters because there's definitely like a minimum mark that you shouldn't you know go below so that you can actually further in the sex university so um i think someone asked uh, if they don't have aptech in your states what would you do about that so the aptech i went to on the island aja center in lagos has a hostel and i believe um most of their centers will have hostels where you could you know go and stay just in case you're leaving your state to another state 
just to pursue your uptake degree so they have um, that facility available for people um, you can do that or probably find accommodation in a state where um, uptake is and you know move there for those two years and you run it um something i also want to add is that uh aptex certificate is quite recognized by a lot of companies and employers so even if you're just you no know, you're not going to travel after running your aptex degree whichever one it is that you choose that degree is very 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 valid and strong enough for you to be very relevant in the job market and they would also you know be at par with probably i'm sorry but <laughs> universities in nigeria because apart from just writing exams and stuff they really teach you practical and coming out from aptech you would be good at um if you're focused that is uh, whatever it is that you go there to learn okay so i hope i've given enough information concerning aptech um traveling to the uk for school and everything that has to do with um, the uptake Middlesex route to Japan. <laughs> yeah, basically. So if you have any more questions, you can just drop them in the comment box and uh, I will take time to look through them. If it needs me to do another video on this, I would. If not, I will just reply to your comment directly. Yeah. I look forward to, you know, seeing people that actually do this and, you know, see it through from beginning to end. Yeah, good luck and thank you for watching.